Hey friends, so starting off, we are jumping right into the video. We're going ahead and using Not Polish Milky White. I already have my tips on. I'm already prepped and ready to go. I obviously did the pop off method. I always do my pop off method for videos. So that is already applied to my um, natural nail. We're going ahead and doing a, what are these called? Why can I not remember the name right now? I don't know. I'm having a huge brain fart right now, but I'm gonna just call it a um, Frenchie, not a deep one, obviously, but we're doing an acrylic Frenchie. I think that is what they're called. Anyways, um, I am using some uh, Savilan acrylic monomer. So if you're watching this video and wondering why the acrylic is drying so fast that is why the reason i did that is because i have a client tomorrow and i only have a little bit of my mia secret monomer left i'm all out of my 876 monomer so um i had no choice <laughs> um i didn't want to waste any monomer on myself doing a video like this when i can be using you know good monomer for a client so do not recommend this monomer you guys um it dries super super fast and did not give me a lot of time to work with it and when we get to the clear i also had a lot of issues with my clear having so many bubbles in it now i really think that's just me or the acrylic powder that i used because i did use an acrylic powder that from a brand that i won't mention um just because i don't want to bash any brand um any a new brand or small business brand but I did use a um, clear acrylic powder from a brand that sent me over some stuff to try out from Instagram and it has so many bubbles in it you guys so um, I'm not gonna be mentioning them because I don't really recommend that either but we are gonna go ahead and place down the clear after we do the white French Frenchies. And the white Frenchies are gonna be used for the base of the clown face. Most of this application is in real time. However, I do speed up and skip a few nails in this video. The reason being is because this video was gonna be super long just because of the nail art. So I did wanna make it a little um, faster. Like I didn't want the video to be so long or shorter, I should say. So when we get to the nail art, any finger or any nail that is the same as the previous one, I will be skipping that just because it's gonna be the repeat nail art. Um, and I just didn't feel the need to put that in there. Um, if it was a shorter video, I obviously would include it, but we're just gonna run through these nails real quick and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get this clown design. So these are the nail techs or the nail artists that I got this idea from or this inspo from I should say. The original inspo came from this uh, Instagram right here and then the second one that I actually copied the nail art from came from this Instagram right here. So of course my nails did not come out exactly the same as the picture, you guys. I just started doing nail art. So this was really, this nail art right here honestly gave me a run for my money. At least, no, I will say that I thought it was gonna give me a run for my money. But when I got to doing it, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. The only thing that was hard was me keeping a steady hand with my lines because I do have a terrible time with shaky hands um my hands are shaky as hell y'all like they shake so bad when i'm doing nail art it's like why am i even trying to do this <laughs> so when we get to the nail art i'm gonna go over the things that i would have changed um and just a little things that i would have tweaked if i could do it over again I said that I would definitely, definitely do this set over again, either in a few weeks or next year and um, try it again and make it a little better because it came out how I want it to, but it didn't come out as good as I know it could have. So 
So I took a poll and you guys asked for a Halloween set. It was between Halloween set, poly gel, or doing my um, dominant hand uh, with my non-dominant hand. And doing my non-dominant or doing my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand came in second place. That is the one that I um, was going to do next for a video, but I was like, I'm gonna do exactly what you guys told me to do. So I did go ahead and do another Halloween set. Um, the Halloween sets honestly intimidate me and that is why I was hoping you guys wouldn't pick it, but I'm so glad that you guys did because it made me go ahead and challenge myself. And I feel like nail art is just one of those things where you have to keep doing it to get better and you definitely learn from your mistakes as you do different nail art so super glad that I did it and I definitely want to do some more like it's making me want to do some more every time I do a little bit of um nail art it comes out better and better so I'm like okay I'm getting the hang of it I'm not like I don't suck like I did from jump so things are progressing <laughs> so I'm gonna keep up with it and I'm gonna try to do another Halloween so I'm gonna try to do a few more um for Halloween before Halloween actually hits and then I'm going to um do some fall nails in November and then obviously we're gonna get into the Christmas nails so hopefully I can push out a lot of videos I know it took me a week to come back with another video um I was just super busy this past week and I'm actually really busy next week too but I am gonna try to push out some more videos um and just take some time out to the side to uh record if you have kids what are your kids being for halloween you guys my son y'all my son told me that he wanted to be a blow-up dinosaur like let me show y'all a picture of what a blow up dinosaur looks like. Mind you, he's nine years old. Like, I was just so blown that he wanted to be that. So I asked him again and his mind changed. Thank God, because I was like, babe, that's kind of, I didn't tell him, but in my head, I, I'm thinking like, baby, that's like a two or three year old costume. Like, why do you want to walk around being a blow up dinosaur? But I wasn't going to kill his vibe or his joy because I love for kids to be kids and more power to you. If you want to be a blow up dinosaur, go go all balls out. But um, he did change his mind and now he doesn't know what he wants to be. So we're still looking for a costume. But what are y'all kids going to be? Or what are you dressing up to be? Are you dressing up for Halloween? I don't really dress up for Halloween only because I don't ever have a function to go to. Um, I did when I was a little younger, like uh, early 20s. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will this year. But I don't really have anywhere to go this year either. I definitely want to go to a haunted house. And I definitely want to go to like King's Dominion or Bush Gardens for, you know, their hollow scream. Those are um, amusement parks in Virginia. And um, they have really, really dope uh Halloween like themes when you go you know to the park for uh little scare uh haunted houses and all that jazz so super fun So for the base of my thumb, I'm just going to be doing an ombre and then I'm going to be capping the ombre. The pointer in the ring finger were the Frenchies and then I am going ahead and I'm going to put clear acrylic on the bottom to fill the rest of the nail in. And then the middle finger and the pinky were completely clear nails. So before filling in the rest of the nail on uh, designs like this, you want to go ahead and 
take a file and just shape the shape up. You wanna make sure that everything is exactly how you want it and very neat because once you put this uh, remainder of acrylic on or down, when you go ahead and file the remainder off, you are not gonna be able to reshape this part of the nail, if that makes sense. So make sure it's exactly how you want it to look. Um, you also do this with color blocking. Color blo This is basically color blocking, but color blocking is when you are putting down two different colors and they are acrylic really and you're making um, different shapes. Uh, you can do it with um, paint or gel polish, which is kind of like abstract design, but this is what I call color blocking. I also have another video way, way back that I did um, doing a little bit of color blocking. I think I have about two or three videos and I used to do it a lot, but now I just rather do um, hand nail art. I feel that color blocking with acrylic takes a lot of time and when you have to go back and cap everything and file everything down, it's just like added time. So I rather just do a base of the nails, um, just one solid color and not do as much filing or in between shaping and then just go ahead and do my nail art with different designs. It is 2 p.m. on Saturday. Hopefully I can have this video up for you guys by tonight. I was so tired last night or early this morning. I actually went to bed at 8 a.m. this morning. My sleep schedule is so crazy, y'all. But I actually went to bed at 8 a.m. this morning. And um, yeah, I just could not get this video done. I wanted it to be up earlier for you guys today. However, it's still gonna be put up today. Um, I just had to go back and do the voiceover once I woke up, so I am doing that right now. And it should be posted by 8 p.m. I, I'm hoping that the quality of the video is gonna be super clear, but usually it takes a few hours, um, like a whole day for it to be super, super clear, but hopefully it's watchable. <laughs> and um, at least in 1080, uh, what is it, P? um instead of 4k but anyway that's neither here nor there y'all probably don't even know what i'm talking about um oh i also want to tell you guys i know this is not relevant to everybody but i stopped using imovie for recording my videos because like sometimes i would have trouble exporting my video and it gave me hell on my last video or not my last video like maybe two or three videos ago and so I had to literally redo all of my editing and put it in CapCut. And honestly, CapCut just has better editing options anyway. So there is no more iMovie editing. I know I have a video up of how I edit my videos on iMovie. I know you guys love to see stuff like that. People who are wanting to start a YouTube channel or start recording. So let me know if you want another video or an updated video of that. This is a five and no, it's not a five and one bit. It is, that's not what they call it on Amazon anyway. This is a medium grit, I believe just a carbide barrel bit, um, tapered barrel. So I do not like it. Um, okay. So I don't hate it. I do like it as far as like how much it can debulk. Um, but I feel like you can get a 501 bit that is a safety bit and do exactly the same thing. This is not a safety bit. And I actually cut myself in this video. You won't really, you won't see it um, just because I didn't leave it in there, but I nicked myself. It wasn't like a crazy cut where blood was just gushing everywhere, but um, uh, it, it definitely cut me. Um, so I will not be using this on a client. If I cut myself, then I know I will cut a client. So. I'm just gonna stick to the 501 bits, you guys. I wanted to give a different drill bit a try and start using other bits. I also bought another 
um like a needle cuticle bit and i hate it so i'm just like do i want to send these back to amazon because am i even going to use these i might keep this one around just because it's super sharp and i can really use it to debulk um a lot quicker but the other one i just don't see myself really using that at all the needle bit, i wish i would have showed it in this video but i didn't use it for this i just ordered some new stuff off of amazon and wanted to share them with you guys um just trying different things to see if i like anything um else other than what i already use but honestly what i use does the trick for me i don't have any issues with it so it's kind of like a if it's not broke don't fix it i also want to point out i have my drill speed on 20,000 rpms for debulking this nail and then when i got to the cuticle area i did slow it down and put it on about eight uh 8,000 rpms So we are just going to speed through the filing and again I'm going to show you guys a few nails. I'm not going to keep every single filing step in this video. I just want to show you guys the gist of how I file. So you are going to see every single step that I do for filing. It's just going to be on different nails and it's only going to be on one nail instead of all five. So for the blood drips, I am taking Beyond Gorgeous by Nail Attic. It's a super, super pretty red. Um, you would need two coats of it if you want it to be like that red that you're going for when it comes to looking like actual blood. Because this kind of is a little bit sheer, actually. When I put it down, it's not as opaque as Madame Glam's polish. And the consistency is so much different than Madame Glam. Um, I was trying to explain it on my last unboxing of some PR by Nail Addict. Like the consistency, I always say that it's kind of like a gel, but it's kind of like, um, it's like gel polish, but it's also like sticky. It's like tacky, if that makes sense. Like, I do not know how to describe this consistency I don't hate it um, but it's not my favorite for nail art or for all types of designs or even polishing the nail just because it's kind of I don't know it's like stringy <laughs> not stringy I really don't know how to describe it but you can see when I was painting the top of the nail like when I lifted the brush to take some excess off like the consistency of it is just not your normal type of gel polish which it's not bad um it still obviously does a great job 
and it is pretty opaque opaque enough for you to do nail art with it obviously because these came out really cute but um yeah i don't know i just i prefer madam glam's consistency i do have a code for both if you want to give them a try on your own um but yeah, I just wanted to hit on that because I know I use different polishes and I know people are always looking for uh, different polishes to try. And my go-to honestly is Madame Glam. I will use these if there is a color that I really want to use. Um, I feel like these are better for if you are trying to go for a jelly look to mix them with some clear polish because I think it will give it like a really good jelly look um if you were to mix them with clear polish versus mixing like a Madame Glam polish with clear polish it won't turn as fast to a jelly polish so I don't know I feel like I'm just rambling at this point but yeah I like Nail Addict I just prefer Madame Glam and if you are on a budget then I would definitely go with Beatles Gel Polish from Amazon. So I did an unboxing of these nail polishes that were sent over to me. They sent me this color called Date Night, I believe, and it's by this brand called Nail Boo. You can find them on Instagram. Um, I don't believe I have a code for them, uh, but they did just reach out to me through uh, Instagram or they reached out to me through email, but they are on Instagram. So I'm guessing that's where they found me from um, and sent me over some polish and I actually love it. I actually really like their polishes. Um, this is a darker red and I just wanted to deepen the red of the drips. I kind of messed up the drips. I don't know what was going on. Like they were perfect when I first put them down, but I guess my polish was so thick that it just started kind of to run and everything was spreading. So I had to go ahead and hurry up and cure it. But once it was cured, I was okay with it, but I wasn't like super hype about it. And at the same time, I couldn't take it off. So I was just stuck with it and I didn't want to do them over. So I did do my pinky off camera, same exact way, um, the blood drips. And then I'm going to go ahead and outline them with some silver chrome by Madame Glam. This is some silver chrome gel paint. And I love these things. I wish I had more of them. Madame Glam, if you're watching this video, please send me some more chrome gel paints because I'm over using the powder chrome, you guys. Like... I just can't it's so messy and it just gives me a run for my money every single time and I'm sick of it <laughs> I'm sick of it so the reason I outlined these in a chrome is because if you notice the inspo pick she had her uh, blood drips that were sparkly they had like a little glitter background in them um and i did not have any polish like that i actually noticed that i did have like a glitter topper that i could have put over this but um it's okay i'm glad that i put this over top of it or outlined it with the chrome i think it gave it like a a different look i just wish that my drips were a little neater and um, a little skinnier, like a little thinner, not so bulky and thick. But I mean, they're drips, you know, they're not supposed to be neat. Everybody makes them neat for aesthetic purposes and just the look of it. But literally, like technically, they're not, drips are not gonna be neat. They're gonna be messy as hell and they're gonna be everywhere and they're gonna be all different sizes. So um, I think it came out okay, but if I had to do it over again, I would make them a little neater. So this is what I was using for the outline. So I am taking some matte top coat and I'm going underneath the nail and on top of the nail, but I am not touching the blood drip. So what I should have done was uh, place down the matte top coat first, you guys, before I did the blood drips. And then go ahead and do the blood drips and take like a little liner brush and go over the blood drips with some top coat to make those shiny. But as you can see, the middle finger is how the end result is and how it's going to come out. And I went ahead and off camera, I did the same thing to my pinky. 
We are now taking some Perfect Black by Madame Glam. This is my favorite black to use. Super, super pigmented, very opaque. And we are gonna be making the eyes, and we're basically gonna be making the eyes a star. So um, yeah, it's just more so of a watch type thing. I can't really explain what I'm doing, but I am just gonna be making the eyes a star, just like we do the little twinkle stars, but we're gonna be adding a few more lines. Also, I wanna add that I had to do these eyes about three different times. And the reason being is because at first, the first two times, I made the dots too close together. So the lines were colliding and interfering with each other. So I did have to space the dots out a little further apart. And um, I just wanna give you guys a little key note to do that before you try this, because if you put them too close together, you're not gonna have enough room to expand the lines. So now we're gonna give our clown some Doja Cat eyebrows. <laughs> Y'all know Doja Cat always has like these super thin eyebrows and they're always like straight and looking real sparse. But I ended up actually making them a little thicker um, and I didn't mean to. I just was like, okay, I didn't cure the eyes so I kinda have to. I can't erase this or I'm gonna mess up the eyes. So I just kept them thick, you guys, and moved on to the next part. This is like a, this is the color that my mom used on her nails last time she got them done. So I'm gonna be using this color for the nose and the mouth. I'm just going ahead and taking a little dotting tool and making the nose as big as I think it should be. And then I'm just going to take the mouth and do a frown upside down. Super easy, you guys. Excuse me, my voice is so hoarse and I am so stuffed up. Like when I tell you guys, like I have the worst allergies in America. I always know, I know I tell you guys all the time. I'm sorry if I sound stuffed up in my videos. It's because I always am. Like I take allergy medicine, but Honestly, I also think that I'm allergic to my cats. <laughs> and um, like when I leave the house, I'm okay. I'm not, it's not as bad. But inside my house, like I'm like, is it the, is it dust? Do I need a dust? Do I need to clean my baseboards? Like, what is it? Or is it the cats? I really think that I'm allergic to cats because I'm always so stuffed up in my house. But anyway, I just say that because um, <clears throat> I know I sound horrible. So if you are wondering, that is what goes on with me in every video. And I hope it doesn't annoy anybody like my voice or anything. Um, please let me know down below. Like you will not hurt my feelings because I will go to a doctor and start getting a, a shot <laughs> to clear it up. I mean, I, I probably need to anyway, honestly, because they just give me hell. Like my allergies give me, uh, it's like torture, you guys. So anyway, now we are on to the fun part. So I mixed two blues and I mixed the light blue and a little bit of a dark blue. Now, what I wish I would have done was first put down some uh, top coat and then I wish I would have done half or even one fourth of the colored polish that I did because this was too opaque. It was way too opaque. If you noticed her, um, her eye uh, tears, her tears, um, they are like a jelly consistency. Now, I don't know if she had a jelly based gel polish um, from Jump and she didn't have to mix it, but I did not have any blue jelly type of nail polish. So I did have to go in and make my own. And this is what I did to make it. However, I wish that I wouldn't have used so much of the colored uh, nail polish. I wish I would have used much less and a lot more of the top coat. And that would have made it look kind of like see-through, like actual water. So if I do this again, I will definitely redo that and do it correctly. But nonetheless, it still looked like tears. It still came out pretty. So, um, or how I wanted it to be anyway. So I was okay with it and I just kept it moving. And plus, if I would have tried to file that off, it would have messed up the whole clown design. So it was just like, I couldn't do it anyway. So I did go ahead and top coat those with matte top coat. And um, I'll be top coating the clown part with some a glossy top coat, but y'all will see that when I get to it. Right now, I am making the blood splatter. And I know a lot of people will blow it through like a straw or they'll take a brush and they'll just like 
um, put the nail polish on a brush and kind of flick the brush to get the blood spatter. But y'all, I was not making a mess in my nail room. So <laughs> this is what I did. It came out just as good, you guys. Like, I do feel like when people do the blood splatter on uh, on a brush, it comes out a little better, but this was good enough for me. I liked it. It looked really neat. So um, all I did was put down a few drops of red and then I just spread it out with a, a dotting tool. And yeah, that's all I did. And then I dotted some spaces. I kind of moved the bigger dots with the dotting tool and it came out fine, you guys. Like it looked great. So now I'm going in with some top coat just to top coat the clown face because the clown face is going to be glossy and the remainder of the nail is going to be matte. So some of these nails um, are partially glossy and well, the top of the nails are partially glossy and then the bottom of the nails are going to be completely matte and I think that was a really nice effect that she had in her pictures so I definitely wanted to um, copy that as well. I did the eyes off camera on this finger just because we already did that on the last finger. So you guys already know what we did to get that look. Um, now I'm going ahead and we are giving some more Doja Cat eyebrows, but these are going to be a little longer and they're going to be curved. So um, yeah, we're just making kind of like a half oval shape or a half or a, a upside down U. And yeah, those are the eyebrows. Simple, super simple. We're gonna be doing the same exact thing with the nose using the same exact color. And um, then we're gonna be making a smile on this clown. So the other one was a frown and this one is going to be a smile or a grin I should say. Um, so I'm just gonna place two dots on either side and then we're just gonna connect them. But we do wanna keep um, the dots on the side of the mouth if that makes sense now right here I honestly could have just stopped and left it just how it was I thought the clown looked super super cute like this and I was really debating on outlining my clown face um and I outlined it just because she did however I feel like I could have left it white just like that and not had to outline it with uh, the red, but I will show you guys what I'm talking about when we get to it. I am going inside of the mouth and making it seem like it's open and just putting some black inside of it. Um, so yeah, that was super easy. Honestly, the clown faces are what you think will be hard, but they're really not. It's just uh, a few more details than normal so that is it super easy this honestly this design looks crazy when you first look at it but it's actually really easy it was not like an intricate design um, or intricate face that I had to do so many details with and different shading and all of that that is something that I am not there yet I really want to try it but I'm so scared that I will be sitting for like eight hours trying to do one face um, that has like so much shading and detail in it, but we're gonna get there you guys one day I am gonna do some nail art like that. So baby steps baby steps We are working up to bigger and better nail art So yeah, all I did was outline the faces with some red polish and also some of the chrome paint and I did the same exact thing with the splatter on the thumb. And this is how it came out, you guys. I thought it was super cute. I'm so proud of these. I do wish that I did a couple things differently, like the blood drips that I showed you guys and also the tears. I wish those would have been um, a little more see-through. But overall, I really, really like this set. And I hope you guys too. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all so much. Mwah. Bye. Thank you.